كما صليت على إبراهيم repeating كما صليت على إبراهيم once again كما صليت على إبراهيم and if I want to be correct I would actually have it like this وعلى آل إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم once again وعلى آل إبراهيم and this إنك حميد مجيد once again إنك حميد مجيد إنك حميد مجيد so here what we're saying, remember we said, Oh Allah, send your prayers upon Prophet Muhammad and his family. So we're saying, as you send prayers upon Ibrahim, right? So how you, you know, uh, raise the mention and the impact and so on and so forth. Ibrahim, alayhi salam, the Prophet Ibrahim and his family do the similarly for Prophet Muhammad and his family. And then lastly, what we say is that, Oh Allah, innaka, indeed you are the one who is praiseworthy. The one who is really and truly worthy of all praises is who? Allah. And you are the one who is most glorious so we are uh, praising Allah so it's, it's one of the uh, important things to do whenever you're making you're asking Allah for something in the beginning or in the end you would say that usually it would have something about Allah that that we used to affirm the praise and the beautiful qualities and names and attributes of Allah and it helps us to elevate our prayers and also helps us you know uh, build a better relationship with Allah by knowing and mentioning who is Allah okay so I hope that was clear. Uh, let's uh, look at the transliteration. Kama, simple. Sallayta. Sallayta. And then you have ala. Ib. So capital R for heaviness. Ibrahim. If it was lowercase h, you know, it would be Ibrahim. Okay, from the Arabic perspective. So Ibrahim. Wa. Ala. Ali. Ibrahim inna ka inna ka hamidum majid. Okay, so that's it. Now we just have two more things which are very straightforward. Uh, maybe I can just combine them in one video. Okay, and then this would complete it. So I'll see you in the next one.